Now I've talked a lot about different topics related to evolution and the age of the earth and so forth. If you're interested in looking at these issues more in depth or you have other questions, there are a lot of great resources out there that can help quite a bit. Uh, I have a blog, for example. If you go to www.drwile.com and then click on blog, you can read a, what I've written about evolution and a wide variety of other topics. My blog is focused mostly on the recent stuff that has been discovered related to creation evolution. For example, in 2005, we first discovered soft tissue in dinosaur fossils. This is completely almost impossible to understand if the uh, fossils really are millions of years old, as evolutionists claim. Uh, and so I talk about the different discoveries of soft tissue and dinosaur bones and so forth because it's recent. And that's typically what you find at my website. If you go to another website like creation.com, it's just C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N.com. This is a great resource because it compiles thousands of articles related to creation and evolution in the age of the earth. Uh, one section of the website simply has the different topics, and you can click on those topics and find articles. What's even better, however, is they have a search engine, so you can type in the search box something, some topic related to creation evolution, say, mutations. And when you type that in and hit search, then it will find all the articles that have been compiled on this uh, topic. And like I said, there are thousands of articles there, so there's an enormous amount of information available. Um, I've also written some textbooks, uh, both for the elementary school levels and the high school levels. Uh, the elementary school uh, uh, textbooks uh, are, are give science in a historical perspective. The older uh, the textbooks for the older students give science in specific areas of science. Those have a lot of information related to the creation evolution uh, uh, issue as well. Um, the creation.com website I spoke about earlier, it also has a, a lot of books you can get uh, if you want to learn more about this creation evolution controversy. So in the end, there are some great resources out there. And if you've got questions, I would strongly encourage you to use these resources to find the information that you need.